Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin. And Collective, let's just do a general love reading for the Collective. Let's see what's going on, what's been going on, what's coming down the chute. If you're guided to click on this reading, there should be some messages in here for you. Let's see what's up. Uh-oh, we have sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. And we have ego. Mm-hmm. I let my pride get in the way of this connection. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Collective, let's see what's up in the department of love. Shocking. Okay. Turmoil, trouble, and unexpected. All right. Hold on. That card went flying. Let me track that bad boy down. And, ah, hold on. There it is. What is it? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, finality. Okay. So farewell. It's leaving behind and we got closure. All right. You might have had enough of this motherfucker here. Collective, let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. And collective, contest alert, contest alert, contest alert. I am holding a contest on my channel right now. It's my way of saying thank you for all your support, your kind words, your likes, comments, subscriptions, personal readings, everything, baby. Thank you. So if you want to enter this contest, just like, comment, subscribe, get yourself entered. On May the 30th, I will be replying to the winners, but I will also post them in the community section. So if you want to enter that contest, you know what to do. And as always, Collective, thank you so much for all your support. Let's get into your reading. We have the Ace of Wands. We got the Seven of Swords. All right. We got the Four of Cups. Yeah. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think you've already made your decision here. We got the Hermit. You made the decision to withdraw. <laughs> okay. All right. So two more cards here. I see what's going on. I think you had someone here who, um, well, they weren't honest. Not with the Seven of Swords there. Whoa. Hierophant in reverse, non-committal. Um, there could have been something non-traditional or something different about or unique about this connection, but I really just feel like it's not go. And there's the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a breadcrumb or a string or a longer. There's the Three of Wands. I wish you the Five of Swords. You're walking. There's the Star. Wish come true, dream fulfillment. You're waiting for what you deserve. This is an energy of not settling for less. So collective, what I see is the Ace of Wands. I think that there was a physical attraction with this person off the chart it was can you feel the heat boom 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 very hot very heavy very attractive uh and strong chemistry between you and this person but the seven of swords is there they lied um it might have been unexpected it might have been um you know they uh, well let's see could have been shocking it could have they just lied what do you want to say here you're selfish queen of swords queen of pentacles is in reverse and of cups Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Wow, you've seen this as relationship potential, though. There's a Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be one. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm trying to get the signs out. I forget. We have Taurus. I'm really bad at that. We have the Hermit. We have Virgo. Ten of Swords in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse is a devastating energy. Um, but it is always a reminder that that's in the past. I'm going to come into my general readings, past, present, future. So I think that... <sighs> I feel there was a lot of potential here. The Ace, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Pen Queen of Pentacles is here. So it tells me that you collective were looking for a relationship. You felt that there was potential with this person, that they didn't really appreciate or value you. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they were a little bit selfish. The Page of Cups is you kind of realizing this was a dream. I have to accept this person for who they are. They're a liar, cheater, stealer, sneaky, non-committal, uh, player, playette, siren, sirenette, whatever you want to call, whatever you want to say, whatever words you like to use. You've just come to the realization that this person's kind of selfish and you've accepted this person for who they are. Uh, was it what you wanted? I don't think so here, Collective. But I think you realize this person's breadcrumbing you, stringing you along. They're not looking for a relationship here with the Hierophant in reverse energy. Um, and it's because they do have pride and ego issues. They could be whatever the energy is. I do feel that this was kind of the final... Like I said, you're not going to settle and you're not going to tolerate someone who's not valuing, appreciating you. So the person that you either recently met, have met, or about to meet, like I said, this is past, present, future, but you could be anywhere in the timeline. This could be future, future, future. Um, so wherever you are in this timeline, wherever you are resonating with this, they're a liar, they're a cheater, they're a stealer. The Four of Cups is you just realizing this and ready to explore other options. Hierophants in reverse. I think you pull your energy back. I don't think, I think you can go no contact here with the hermit. Um, you just let this person go. So if they want to breadcrumb you, if they want to string you along, if they want to be a player, go ahead. But they can do that to somebody else, not to you. What's the Six of Pentacles energy here? Yeah, Page of Wands in reverse. They didn't like it so much when you told them that. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. King of Cups. What? what the fuck? The Five of Cups and the Hierophant. Well, damn. Okay. <laughs> this is a little bit shocking. Oh, my gosh. 
I don't know how you're going to feel about this. We're going to have to find out. We're going to have to find out. But when you told this motherfucker, you're like, listen, bra, listen, lady, listen, girl, listen, dude, listen, player, listen, play out, listen, sire. I'm not having it. I know that you're, you know, whatever you say. You might not be as blunt as me. I'm Sagittarius. But you could just say, hey, I'm letting this go. This isn't going anywhere. I don't really like where this is going. Whatever this is. This is a conversation, basically, you saying, I'm not giving to this anymore. But here's the thing. Nah, that person starts to get a little scared, a little worried. Well, wait a minute. I miss my collective. I miss my motherfucker. I want to talk to them. I have feelings for them. They want a relationship now. Ooh, three swords in reverse. Yep. Empress in reverse. I think it's too little too late though. So this person took you for granted, took advantage of you. Maybe they didn't realize your value. Maybe they didn't realize certain things. Maybe they were hiding from their feelings. Seven of Swords can just simply be not being honest with themselves. But whatever it was, once you stand up for yourself here and say, listen, I'm not allowing this type of behavior. Um, this person, <laughs> but the Eight of Wands is in reverse and the moon is there. I think it's too little too late. I don't know why I want to see that card, the star. Yeah, that, that, and I want, yeah, and there's a two of pentacles. You made the decision to turn your back on someone who's going to value you, who's going to prioritize you. Uh, let's see if this person chases. That's what I think is about to happen here. Uh, all right. Eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, but you can't let that go. It's like they had their shot. They didn't, they didn't take it. Yeah, the eight of wands. Um, what's under the, yeah, nine of wands in reverse. Nope. Eight of cups. You're walking away. Strength. You're having the courage to do that. You don't even want to talk to them. They lost their chance with you, but now it's like this person's so afraid to miss out on you. Maybe a lot of people don't reject them, or maybe a lot of people, maybe they're very, very attractive, um, and they get away with certain things because certain people let them, but not you. Not you. Looks only go so far, motherfucker. Looks only go so far. So what I see here is you rejecting a player or someone who's noncommittal, um, and that scares the shit out of them. Um, it could have just sometimes, too, when we set boundaries and we tell people what we will and will not tolerate. Some people really respect us, especially a strong masculine will say, damn, uh, I like that this person checked me. I like that this person put me into place. I like these boundaries. But unfortunately, they played too many games. It was too late. So they kind of lost you here. So we're going to grab some oracles. I don't think it's over with this motherfucker. I think this person might chase a little bit here. So I'm just going to grab I'll grab the hidden truth. I'm not going to grab. Well, we, we'll, we'll grab it. We'll see how this plays out because I'm not so sure how it's going to play out. What's the current connection here between the collective and this person who is noncommittal and trying to string them along? But now is realizing that that was stupid. Yeah. Commitment. <laughs> That's very important. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. There is no relationship without commitment and trust. All right. It's the Hidden Truth Collective. If they could say something, they're not saying they want to say they should. Maybe they shouldn't. Yeah. My life is not together as it seems. Okay. I feel you leaving me behind. And I knew exactly what I was doing. We know. And I think that's why you lost the motherfucking collective here. Um, okay, collective. Let's get back to the tarot and let's just see. Let's see how you react. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you say. Let's see what's coming through. How does this conversation go? Does this person hunt them, chase them? Does the collective just move on? What you want to say here? We got the Ace of Wands. We're still here. Yep. But they're disappointed in themselves. Yep. They know that their pride got in the way and they lost the best. They lost. They missed out. Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they missed out. They were being a stubborn ass mofo. So you're going to get what you want. Who is this? Hmm. Water sign, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're dating. I do believe you have some other options here at Collective. So I feel you let this go. I do feel you're dating. I do feel you're engaging with other people. The high, the, the, I feel with this person here, you, you're, you're, you're done. Um, and I do feel them frustrated i don't really see them doing anything they're disappointed in themselves they know it's not going anywhere this page of wands very well could be them messaging you but i don't think you care um i do see you know this is just someone who thought that they were the shit and they thought that they could just string you along and then they caught feelings and you didn't like how you were treated, so you left and now they're left wallowing in their sorrow watching you from afar look at this little motherfucker we're just gonna close his face here watching you from afar they can wallow in their sorrow because you don't care five of wands nine of wands they should have appreciated what they had in front of them. I see you exploring other options here. I see you looking down other avenues. I think you've completely let that go. I don't even think you want to talk, respond. It's their problem. Um, and you're exploring other avenues. You like you wash your hands clean of that. So you're looking down other avenues. Yeah, left them in the dark. Queen of Pentacles. Hey, they, have, they should have. You know, there's a Ten of Pentacles. You're look. Oh, okay. You're got someone here that has some potential for a relationship. Could be Sagittarius. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So. You're getting to know someone else here with this knight and this queen. There could be an age difference. There could be children involved, single mom, single dad energy. You're moving towards a commitment with someone else. And guess what? They're just going to have to watch you. 
that's what happens. They're going to miss out on this. Um, and it's, as far as I'm concerned, you're too good for them. Um, yep. They're left in their emotions. So <laughs> collective, yeah, it's the world. It's the end of that. So this person was stringing you along, breadcrumbing you. You set your boundaries. You did what you needed to do. You do have potential here in the near future of a relationship with somebody else. And they're just going to have to watch you move on and uh, wallow in their sorrow. I think they might be, I think the shocking is them. I think they thought when they came back, they thought they were the emperor. They thought when they came back, you would just grovel or go back to them. <laughs> and you did not do what they wanted you to do. And that's what I got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. Collective. So, collective, if you like your reading, if you like my style, if you want to enter my contest, you know what to do. Get yourself entered. Um, and for those of you who don't know, as per YouTube's regulations, the contest um, details are in the description section of my channel. Um, and when I say description section, the, the um, you know, what you need to know about my channel. <laughs> so it's in there and the details are there, but just like, comment, subscribe, get yourself entered. And as always, thank you for all of your support. Let's close your reading off today with your final message. What's the final message for the collective? What we got? Rest is not idleness. And to lie sometimes in the grass under the tree on a summer's day, listening to the murmur of water or watching the clouds float across the sky is by no means a waste of time. While you eat lunch, take a few minutes to sit outside quietly and enjoy the nature around you. That's what I have, Collective. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.